This is Sue Copen. The battle over the budget rages on. I'm Jeff Salkin. It is post time for a new effort to bring off-track betting to Maryland. This is Nate Howard. The debate for smokers' rights heats up. I'm Dave Durian. Those reports plus our point-counterpoint debate on shorter legislative sessions as a money-saving measure. Coming up on this edition of State Circle. One of uh, Maryland's dubious distinctions maintains the nation's highest rate of cancer deaths, much of it caused by smoking. And so keeping cigarettes out of the hands of children has become more and more a legislative priority. Nate Howard has details on that. One measure proposed by Senator Vernon Boozer would require mandatory supervision of cigarette vending machines and restrict or prohibit them in businesses frequented by minors. We believe it imposes some reasonable restrictions on those who have vending machines that sell cigarettes to either place them in a, a, a place where children can't reach them or buy them in certain restaurants. The fact is, is that adult citizens are purchasing cigarettes through vending machines. And the proponents of this legislation, all they want to do is they want to stop people from smoking, adults. And they're using kids to buttress an argument which doesn't exist. But 10-year-old Morgan Lesko and his brother testified to the contrary. We bought cigarettes from many different vending machines all around Montgomery County. And no one stopped us. Some local governments have already enacted bans on the vending machines enforced because of pending lawsuits by the tobacco industry. Senate President Mike Miller would like to see statewide limits on smoking that would not alter existing restrictions already on the books. And on Thursday, Governor Schaefer re-emphasized the benefits that would be derived from his proposed 25 cents per pack tax increase. We spend about a half a billion dollars every year to cover health costs attributable to smoking. A half a billion dollars. And uh, we want to take part of that extra tax money, a tax money, and put it in the Medicaid program, uh, prevention program. Now, what we're saying is we can't afford not to do this, not to. Uh, Reporting for State Circle, I, I, I'm Nate Howard. WJLA-TV. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source, Paul Berry. Kathleen Matthews, Dennis Ketterer Weather, Rennie Knott Sports. This is News 7 at 5. And young people who are concerned about their health and the health of others had a power lunch with legislators today. The topic was smoking. We'll have the details next. Approximately 30% of teens, 14 to 18 years old, smoke regularly, and many children smart start smoking. This despite the fact that it is illegal to sell cigarettes to minors. Well, News 7's Jack Bowden reports that hundreds of students from all over Maryland went to the state capitol today trying to convince legislators that the laws just aren't tough enough. Cigarette vending machines are a primary target of the students' anti-smoking campaign. And we just bought the cigarettes to prove how easy it could be. Yeah, we went around getting Nobody money. tried to stop you? Nobody. No, no one. Just think of that. Students from all over Maryland gathered at St. John's College in Annapolis and invited their legislative representatives to join them to talk about kids and smoking. Bag lunches were provided, and legislators ate the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches instead of the gourmet meals usually provided by high-paid lobbyists. And they listened as the students explained how they conducted their own surveys. One of the stores gave me the cigarettes without he hesitation and um, did not ask my age or anything. This poster illustrates cigarette buys made by Max and Morgan Lesko of Kensington. The cashier was also right in the vending machine and still no one stopped us. Governor Schaefer also spoke to the students about his proposals to restrict cigarette vending machine locations and increase penalties for selling to minors. But the students and legislators agreed that new laws aren't the only solution. 
you all are the ones who have to say that, hey, it's not cool to smoke anymore. And by that peer-to-peer -peer pressure, hopefully you all be, will be able to accomplish more than anything we can do here in Annapolis. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I think a lot of it has to start with us because we have to get the point across to our friends. The legislature will hold public hearings on all of the proposed anti-smoking bills early next month. In Annapolis, I'm Jack Bowden, News 7. Well, the hearings which some of the children plan to attend will begin on Wednesday, March 9th at 1 o'clock in the Senate Judicial Proceedings Committee. That's obviously in Annapolis. From News Channel 8, this is the Primetime Report. Some health-conscious Montgomery County school kids took their anti-smoking campaign to Annapolis today. Their target? Cigarette machines. News Channel 8's Iris Argetta tells why. Morgan Lesko and friends are skipping school, but it's all for a good cause. I do it because I believe that cigarettes are bad for anybody. Cigarette vending machines let young kids start at such an early age. I'm starting a petition against cigarette vending machines. And a good reason to be in Annapolis on the steps of Maryland State Capitol. Right. I was hoping that you would find it. Sure, absolutely. We're trying to get people to sign a petition that will say that they support the Senate Bill 649 would say that it would be banned everywhere except for places where minors are not allowed. We have a target. A sticker displaying the age requirement protects tobacco vendors from legal penalties. Morgan and his brother launched a sting operation to prove kids have access to cigarette machines. We would go to family restaurants, bowling alleys, and shopping, well, grocery stores, and we'd just walk up to the vending machine, buy cigarettes only once in the the kids got the Montgomery County Council to ban the machines, but they say the tobacco goons got the state to overturn it. Like our kind of villains took it to a higher level. But what do lawmakers think of the young lobbyists? They're down here, they're working hard, they're talking to legislators. I think they're convincing a lot of people. The kids pleaded their case over a peanut butter and jelly luncheon with legislators. Even Schaefer showed his support. So what they're saying is we're around 30. We're not going to smoke cigarettes. We know they're dangerous and lung cancer, and so they're doing a great job. It may be tough to get a state law passed, but these young lobbyists say they won't give up until all cigarette vending machines are gone. In Annapolis, Iris Argetta, News Channel 8. Well, the kids will get a chance to plead their case next month when they testify before a hearing of the Senate Judicial Proceedings Committee on minors and the sale of tobacco products. shopping at Giant. This time the machine was right next to the candy and toy vending machines. Max and I knew exactly what to do. We put the dollar bills in and pushed the buttons and got the cigarettes. And guess what? The store manager was right near us and he didn't say a word. Here are the photographs. I get some fancy lobbyists in this room tonight. <laughs> But there's not a one of them who's going to touch you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming and uh, for proving the case for this bill, and I'm sure we will pass this bill, and, and your work has, uh, has helped us be able to do that. The fact is, is that adult citizens are purchasing cigarettes through vending machines, and the proponents of this legislation, all they want to do is they want to stop people from smoking, adults, and they're using kids to buttress an argument which doesn't exist. And it's very unfair, and it's really manipulating children.
Why do you think the tobacco lobby is so interested in, in, in defeating you guys? They just have a lot of money and a lot of power, and they want The fact is, is that adult citizens are purchasing cigarettes through vending machines. And the proponents of this legislation, all they want to do is they want to stop people from smoking, adults. And they're using kids to buttress an argument which doesn't exist. But 10-year-old Morgan Lesko and his brother testified to the contrary. We bought cigarettes from many different vending machines all around Montgomery County, and no one stopped us. Some local governments have already enacted bans on the vending machines, but they're not being pending lawsuits by the tobacco industry. Her life ended with cancer of the lungs, and at her funeral, the song was sung. During the skits in the lobby of the St. John's College Auditorium, 10-year-old Max Lesko purchased his 21st pack of cigarettes to help prove the Lung Association's point. We just saw this cigarette vending machine, so we decided that we should give it a try, so we got some cigarettes. And is it difficult to get cigarettes? No, no, not at all. Well, News 7's Jack Bowden reports that hundreds of students from all over Maryland went to the state capitol today trying to convince legislators that the laws just aren't tough enough. This poster illustrates cigarette buys made by Max and Morgan Lesko of Kensington. The cashier was also right near the cigarette vending machine and still no one stopped us. I'm starting a petition against cigarette vending machines. And a good reason to be in Annapolis on the state capitol. Right. I was hoping that you would find it. Sure, absolutely. We're trying to get people to sign a petition that will say that they support the Senate Bill 649, which say that vending machines would be banned everywhere except for places where minors are not allowed. We have a target. A sticker displaying the age requirement protects tobacco vendors from legal penalties. Morgan and his brother launched the sting operation to have access to cigarette machines. We would go to family restaurants, bowling alleys, and shopping, well, grocery stores. And we'd just walk up to the vending machine, buy cigarettes, only once in the 20 times we've done this. Stop the kids got the Montgomery County Council to ban the machines, but they say the tobacco goons got the state to overturn it. Like our kind of villains took it to a higher level. I think but, what, but what do lawmakers think of the... They're down here, they're working hard, they're talking to legislators. I think they're convincing a lot of people. And Schaefer showed his support. So what they're saying is we're around 13 and we're not going to smoke cigarettes. We know they're dangerous and lung cancer and so they're doing a great job.